Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, before we get into this video, please make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. We're able to be a little more explicit, a little more uncensored, and share content freely without running the risk of having our channel terminated. So, once again, make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. We're almost at 100,000 subscribers. So, if you like this video, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. Now, let's get into what you guys came here to see. Now, here we have some shocking news that could turn this whole case upside down and jeopardize justice for FBG Duck as we know it. The crazier part is that the events which may lead to a mistrial has nothing to do with the case itself, but instead the antics that have transpired within the courtroom amongst the court goers. As of today, December 12, 2023, another motion for a mistrial in the case of FBG Duck's death involving Oblock members have been filed. Unlike the first motion, this one may have a little more ground to stand on, sad to say. Now before people start thinking that the Oblock members involved in this case are free already, or that this means it's automatically a mistrial, that's not the case. I see people in the comments of the blogs commenting as if these guys have already been released and case dismissed. However, that's not how it works. A motion is filed by defense attorneys. The motion would include the basis of the motion, meaning the details on why they feel it should be a mistrial, and if the details hold up, then the judge can approve it and then the trial as we know it will no longer exist. Or the judge could just throw it out like the last one, stating that it don't hold enough weight to warrant a mistrial. Now honestly, it seems like the attorneys know it's way too much evidence involved against the suspects, so they are looking for any and everything to work with in their favor. And although a mistrial may be far-fetched, unlike the last one, this one may be something to consider based on the details that were given in this article. Now before I proceed, one thing I can and will say about the media is they have a way of fabricating things to fit a certain narrative that happens to go into one party's favor. YouTuber Mickey Truth have been involved in this situation due to an interaction she had with a cooperator and their mother and all of this will play a part in the stance of a mistrial that's been presented to Judge Bacol. But like I said before, it's a lot more to the story and I hope everything comes out in the end I'll leave it to Mickey Truth to explain what's really going on. So y'all head over to her channel as she's been breaking down everything going on behind the scenes daily. Now, according to the article, this motion had been filed solely on claims that blogger Mickey Truth was pulled out of court last week after she falsely claimed that another YouTuber had been paid to testify in the FBG duck trap. It states that attorneys representing the O-Block suspects would allege that a certain blogger was wrongfully removed from the courtroom after her reports on the case have angered a key government witness that's involved in the case as well. They will make claims that Mickey falsely accused Raheem Wilton, aka FBG Butter, of receiving payments to work with the feds. Reports would explain that blogger Mickey Truth posted a video December 6, 2023, speaking on Butter's testimony and falsely stating that him and or his mother received a total of $2,700 in exchange for his testimony against Oblock. On that same exact day, Butter would appear on another YouTube channel, which is assumed to be the infamous 16 Shot Him Live, where he would go off on Mickey Truth about the quote unquote mistake she made by accusing him of accepting money to testify. Reports will also point out that Butter at the time was technically still on the stand and trial was in recess when he appeared on 16's Live. According to the motion file, Mickey posted a correction video on Thursday after being corrected by Butter's mother and after Butter found out, he would try to run out of a room he was being held at and the reason why wasn't specified. I would assume it was to address Mickey Truth. The motion filed would state that when Butter returned to the courtroom to testify, government agents told Mickey that she wouldn't be able to remain in the courtroom while he was on the stand. 
Sun Times article would say that although Mickey Truth was given the opportunity to watch from an overflow courtroom, she decided to leave Chicago when the agents told her the defendants was, quote, dangerous people and said she was now at risk. However, that's false because Mickey Truth would state via YouTube that she attended the party that was held for FBG Duck, as we've also seen her in pictures with Mama Duck at the event as well after the court proceeding. Now, before I continue, let me stop here and say this. The other day, Mickey Truth went live and FBG Butter's manager would join the live and encourage Mickey to stop talking about Butter's mom because she got nothing to do with it. He expressed that it's Butter that got the problem with her and she should be taking her frustrations out on him instead of speaking on his mom. However, on that same live, he mentioned that Butter was going to put hands on Mickey at the time when he knew she was in the courtroom and made it very known, which is why he was trying to get to her in the first place. Now, I find that pretty strange, being that this case is going on and he would go live with her publicly and admit something like that. Not only that, but the article said, quote, she decided to leave Chicago when the agents told her the defendants were very dangerous people. She was now at risk. Now, I'm not the smartest man in the world, but I never heard of law enforcement, especially the feds, telling someone who could be a possible victim that someone else who would be a possible suspect is dangerous and make it seem as if it's nothing they could do to protect her. What does that say about them when they're able to say that a certain someone is dangerous as if it's nothing that they could do about it, they are the ones that are supposed to be protecting people. Something just ain't adding up, but I'm gonna leave that there. And her leaving to get out of Chicago after being semi-warned was the best thing for her to do in that situation instead of sticking around because who knows what could have transpired after they just told her that these guys was quote, dangerous people. Now let's move on. In the motion, prosecutors allege that the blogger had posted pictures and inaccurate personal information about FBG Butter's mother, which was a claim that was rejected in the mistrial motion. It alleges that Mickey Truth's exclusion from the courtroom violated her right to free speech and the defendant's right to a public trial, which is a little scary when you think about a mistrial because that part is actually true based on removing her from a courtroom where she didn't do anything wrong and in fact was a victim. Now, if she did something, it would make sense and they could have used that. They pulled her out based on the fear of her safety, according to them. However, that's not legally enough to have her removed from seeing what's going on in a public trial. Now, Kenny Max lawyer Steve Greenberg, who was also representing R. Kelly in one of his legal battles, would include these words in the motion, saying, quote, The law does not distinguish between traditional and new media. If reported from the Tribune, Sun Times, or the local news have been barred in the same manner as Ms. Williams, this court will recognize it as an outrageous violation of the defendant's right to a public trial. This scenario is no less outrageous. And it's unfortunate, but he does have a point. U.S. Assistant Attorney Jason Julian spoke on behalf of the motion and stated that they'll have an answer for it later this week. Till then, everyone will be on the edge of their seat as we're told that the trial shouldn't last no longer than the end of January. The motion didn't only include Mickey being taken out of the courtroom, but it will also include another YouTuber as well, but in his case, he was scolded and removed for a video he posted, suggesting that the suspects in this trial needed to find someone to crash out on the witness. Reports say that the YouTuber was referring to Wilton, but from my knowledge and observation, that seemed to be false as well, because at the time of the video, FBG Butter wouldn't be on the stand. Instead, it would be Trench's news. Now, aside from the motion foul, another witness who was the baby mother to one of the defendants by the name of Carlos Orford took the stand and admitted that he does in fact have ties to Oblock and the car, which was a Ford Fusion, using Duck's death, she recalls taking him to purchase the vehicle. I don't know how his lawyer is going to get around that and get him out of that one because they've also found prints of his, if I'm not mistaken, on that car, which also ties him to the vehicle. And now they have his child's mother slash ex-girlfriend admitting that she took him to purchase the car. Sheesh. Now the article would state that Mama Duck was removed again for the second time due to causing a disturbance and Lincoln's sister was kicked out of the courtroom as well for having a switchblade in which she was allowed back into the courtroom 
after stating that the blade was for work. So it's a lot going on in this case. And like I told y'all, it's a lot of antics that's going on outside of the courtroom and applying to either YouTubers or the court goers. For the people covering it or within this case, I would suggest you be mindful of what you say because apparently there's a big scope right now on bloggers mentioning situations in this courtroom. It even got so bad that they filed a motion for mistrial. As they pointed out, they've seen what Mickey Truth had to say online as well as what FBG Butter was saying on live as well. So clearly, they're watching and taking notes. Must I remind y'all that anything in these videos are based off information provided by published articles and simply my own observations. As more information come out, I keep you guys updated and we'll be on the edge of our seats until the verdict of the mistrial motion is announced. Y'all jump in the comments, let me know what y'all think about this. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. Remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm gonna keep on dropping. And I'm out.